the UK, thousands of pupils are becoming more and more engaged in science, technology, engineering and maths, thanks to the British Science Association's Crest Award scheme. Whether your pupils are 5 or 19, they can gain a Crest Award by engaging in STEM projects that increase their interest in STEM subjects and also open their eyes to the opportunities that a career in STEM could give them. The awards also encourage core skills such as collaborative working, problem solving and communication, important life skills in an increasingly globalised society. At primary level there is the Crest Star and Superstar Award where pupils carry out eight short STEM activities. On the Crest website you will find over 30 free activities to choose from, including some from Practical Action. These are set in real-life global contexts, an example being our floating garden challenge based on our work in Bangladesh. Older primary pupils and lower secondary can opt for a Discovery Award. For this award, pupils need to do about five hours work, so many schools use them as a focus for their enrichment day. Alternatively, they can be carried out during lesson time or over a number of after-school STEM or science clubs. Again, there are a number of accredited activities for Discovery Award free to download from the Crest website, including Practical Action's very own STEM challenges. Set in a global context, these inquiry-based challenges give pupils the opportunity to come up with their own solutions to a problem faced by a community in the developing world, then design, build and test a model of their solutions. Pupils get really hands-on with these popular problem-solving challenges, which include Stop the spread. Can you build an effective hand washing device for school in Kenya? And how do you communicate to young children why it is important to wash your hands? The squash tomato challenge. How do you move tomatoes down a mountainside in Nepal without squashing them? Ditch the dirt. Can you design a water filter using simple, sustainable local materials and keep within a budget? Or how about beat the flood? where pupils design, test a range of materials and structures before building their model house, then testing it by squirting with a hose pipe. For secondary age students, there are bronze, silver and gold crest awards. These involve between 10 and 70 hours of work. Again, there is a range of free support materials on the Crest website, including practical action STEM challenges and global project ideas. These provide great starting points for pupils interested in a STEM project on global issues such as renewable energy or food security. If you are thinking of running Crest with your pupils but feel you need a bit of extra support, then help is at hand in the form of the fabulous STEM ambassadors. These are professional people in your area keen to engage the next generation into STEM who come into your school and support your pupils with their Crest awards. At the secondary level, pupils can enter their Crest projects into the Big Bang Regional and National Fairs, where they showcase them to other pupils, teachers and people in the STEM industry. Taking part in this is truly an amazing experience for them. And some good news is that all this is not too costly either. Starting at just £1 per pupil for a Crest Star Award, £3 for Discovery and up to £20 for Gold. There are different grants available too, so cost really needn't be a barrier. So, whatever the age of your pupils or how much time they or you may be able to commit, there's a Crest Award to suit. Why not take the first step by visiting the Crest Awards website, registering your school and looking at all the great free resources.